Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. Today, how's this for an odd view? Today, we're going to clean out the freezer in uh, that's connected to my refrigerator, okay? This is normally a holding area for us, um, or I put stuff in there that we use for special occasions or different, you know, it, it's just, it's not a frequently used unless you count sugar-free popsicles. Yeah, okay. So, it's time to dive deep because it's been a couple of years. Yes, it has. And we're going to go through this. We're going to see what's in there. And then, of course, we're going to inventory it, right? And then we're going to create this next week's meal plan using what's in this freezer. So let's have some fun. I have my handy dandy five gallon bucket stool. Yeah, that's what I'm calling it. Okay. And we are going to dive deep into the freezer. Yes, we are. <sighs> now, I thought it'd be really cool to have a freezer like this. And so far, it really has been. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Oops, sorry. Um, this drawer, however, becomes the space of lost foods. Yes, it does, because I normally don't pay attention to what's in here. We are going to pay attention today. Yes, we are. Um, there's a mishmash. I'm going to go through all of this and it's it's going to get moved around because it is going to get eaten um, this week. We are going to do all the things, right? So first, I have some sausage. <laughs> this is sausage. CHB. I don't know what that stands for. I might have to call him. Okay, so a friend of ours um, is a hunter and he, um, him and his wife sent this to us and it's a sausage. Um, it's a venison sausage, I believe, mixed with pork, venison and pork to make a sausage. So I put that in the freezer because at the time it was not something that I could use. Okay, and I've got yeast. There's a backup yeast. Those are all over the place. I'm not kidding. Um, cranberries, two bags of cranberries. And I have those everywhere also. Um, hot dogs. These are the only hot dogs allowed in our house. So says Mr. Sutton. These are Kogel hot dogs. They are, um, these ones are all beef and they have the casing on them that snaps. It makes Phil very, very happy. Okay. We've got some walnut pieces and some pecans and some more walnut pieces. I'm going to have to come back and write this down. Chicken. Yes. Okay. I'm going to have to come back and write this down. Um, pepperoni, because I love pepperoni. We've got some more walnut pieces. Some mixed style vegetables. Yep. A nanner. I have nanners everywhere. Okay, so that's coming out, um, and I'm probably going to put it in the garage. These are always very handy to have frozen and ready to go. Um, more hot dogs. More hot dogs. Okay, first, what am I doing with all these walnuts? And then we've got mashed cauliflower, okay, hot dogs, hot dogs, and then these, same company, Kogel Chili Topping. This is for Detroit-style conies. Oh, they are so good. And normally we do those when uh, the kids are here. And apparently I thought it was a really good idea to stock up, right? So that's what the hot dogs and the coney sauce is for. So I've got plenty of those for a little while. Phil likes Smoky Links. He likes Smoky Links. Um, these are not the right ones, though, so I have to figure out something to do with those. Any ideas? Maybe we'll make that a Thursday food. Okay, cranberries. I need to do something with the cranberries and the banana. Banana. Okay, so those are not going back in. Um, that will be for this week. And the vegetables will be for this week. Sausage, chicken, nuts, and nuts. Okay. So, let me get this all written down. And now I know what's in here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we are now down into the main part of the freezer and nobody knows okay so everything went back into that drawer except for the two bags of cranberries and the banana those are out because I will figure out something to do with them okay 
So now, um, where do we start? Okay, so here is another thing of sausage from our friends. So I'm gonna put that up there. So that is two, two venison sausage, updating that, okay. We have ham, chopped ham, I was gonna use for making a soup. Okay, this is a little more difficult than I thought it would be. Oh, okay, I knew there was another one. So two chopped hams. I'm gonna move those up here also. Okay, and write those down. And oh, scallops. New Year's Eve. Our tradition here is um, seafood for New Year's Eve. So the scallops are for New Year's Eve dinner. Okay. Um, and more nuts. Okay, apparently I'm not paying attention to my collection of nuts. So I am going to be making some breads and stuff. Will this even fit? It will. Okay, so now all the nuts are together. I can update that number. Okay, and we have blueberries. Yes, these are from um, Tawas, the Tawas Blueberry Farm. Toro blueberries, best blueberries ever. Yes, they are. So here's a big gallon bag of those. Um, oh, crud, hot dogs. Okay, hot dogs do not do well stored in these so these can't be very old at all so we're going to um, leave those out and I will check on them oh look at that look at that tuna I have tuna yes I do and another pepperoni so those are some really good tuna I'll update the pepperoni tuna look at that when did I buy those that's, that's, that's been a couple of years. Okay. So, um, those are going to get used on New Year's Eve too. And then we've got some peeled, deveined, tail off, small shrimp. Oh, those might be freezer burned. Okay. That bums me out. Totally freezer burned. Okay, guys, it happens to everybody. That's, that's horrible. Now, you know, they're Walmart. They weren't horribly expensive, but that's a good six seven bucks that I just set on fire because yeah those are those are freezer burned oh man okay that's a bummer that's the freezer telling me that it's open we have back strap gotta gotta do something with that found another tuna okay and some more shrimp that is also freezer burned Okay, so that's up to 14 bucks wasted on the back strap. Okay, I have to write that down. We're gonna have back strap for dinner, my friends. Okay, let me let the up. Uh, let me get it to stop beeping for a minute and update my list. More frozen nanners. Okay, so that those three bananas will make a loaf of banana bread. So those are coming out. Okay, so this is a cold pack. Those are cold packs. That is blueberries. And everything else down here is frozen fudgesicles or popsicles. They're sugar-free. And they're a cold pack. And they really come in handy um, lately. Okay, look at now we're into the good side. Okay. I might have to switch sides. More blueberries, just a little bit of blueberries left. Oh, gotta move to the other side. Moving to the other side. Okay, now over here is the meats. And it appears, let's see, I have pork chops. And okay, this was a necessary evil. I made appetizers for two different parties and I overestimated how much salami I need. So this is hard salami. I probably should vacuum seal it. Um, but for right now, that's two pounds of hard salami. This is more back strap, more blueberries. Oh, tenderloin. That's what it is, tenderloin. Um, some frozen jalapenos. 
Okay, we're gonna move all of the popsicle fudgicles to the other side. Yep, oh, that's a shame. This is a T-bone steak. Oh, holy Hannah, you guys. The date on that is 2020. Okay, so um, that is $4.51. We're over 20 bucks now, uh, wasted. And more blueberries. Look, we'll stay over there. Okay, and this is uh, pork, that's a pork roast. And some liver, green beans, and broccoli. Okay, so I'm gonna get that all written down. Oh, I can't believe all that money wasted. Now comes the fun part. Yes, it does. Okay, so we're going to take this list, the inventory list from that freezer, because I need to get that emptied out. That's just ridiculous. And we are going to menu plan with that. So we already know um, for New Year's we're going to do bacon wrapped scallops. And so those scallops are going to get cooked up, and we're going to have those for dinner on New Year's Eve. Good stuff, okay? I don't have a shopping list for that week. So next we're going to the next week and we're going to completely build the entire menu plan off of this freezer inventory which really shouldn't be um any kind of heartache and it should be fairly easy to do okay so first let's figure out dinner right and so sunday 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 we are going to have pork chops okay with broccoli and Monday, we are going to have, um, let's see, Monday, we're going to have backstrap with green beans. There you go. And then Tuesday, we're going to have Coney dogs. Coney dogs. Okay. And let's see, ham. I've got ham, pepperoni, um, chicken breast. So Wednesday we're going to do chicken breast. Um, and Phil is going to have... Phil is going to... Oh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do the mashed cauliflower with cheese. Yes, we are. Um, there you go. And then Thursday, Thursday, we're going to have... Insta oh, I'm going to make some pork roast. I'm going to take that pork roast that was in there and I'm going to do Mississippi pork roast. So, Miss pork roast. And we're going to have some broccoli with that. Friday, 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 we are going to have some. I'm going to make something with the pepperonis. What can I make with the pepperonis? pepperonis let me come back to that one okay I'll do pepperonis for lunch we're gonna do the tuna steaks yeah we are and so I already did the green beans so we're gonna have broccoli broccoli green beans cauliflower there's probably gonna be broccoli left over so with the leftover broccoli and then Saturday in the park right I know Saturday I am gonna make um, some, <laughs> I'm going to make some, I'm going to make some liver for Phil, liver and onions, and I will just, uh, you know, I'll figure out something for myself, but I'll do liver and onions for Phil. He will like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do with some of this other stuff, using only stuff that's out of this freezer, is I'm going to make some uh, blueberry lemon bread. Okay. I'll make that on Sunday. And I will make some cranberry bread on Wednesday. Right. And I will make some blueberry jalapeno um jelly jam whatever next friday and that will get rid of uh all of the blueberries and the jalapenos that are in that freezer so bam 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 oh and i can put walnuts 
in the cranberry bread. Yep. Right. Okay. So the sausage patties I can have uh, during the week. So I'm just going to, those are kind of a heat and go. They're Jimmy Dean. They're already cooked. All I need to do really is microwave them. Um, so I will incorporate those during the week for lunch uh, here and there. One or two of those. And, oh, the California mixed vegetables. That's what we can do with the tuna steaks. Yeah. California blend. Right? Okay. And by doing this, while I have gotten nowhere near the goal of getting rid of all of those hot dogs and coney sauce, um, it will put a dent in it, and I can make it something that we repeat. But I will have gotten rid of the pork chops, the back strap, the um, chicken breast and the cauliflower mash, the pork roast, the tuna steaks, and the liver, along with all of the frozen vegetables that are in that freezer. Uh, what I discovered is that, what have I got? So figure 8 and 8 is 16, and 5 is 21. So $21 I threw away. I set $21 on fire and watched it burn by putting that stuff in the freezer and not paying attention to it. And that is why we need to inventory, but this freezer always just gets past me and I need to stop it. So I'm gonna get this freezer emptied out uh, and it's gonna be something that I keep very close track of. So that is just exactly how easy it is to do an inventory and then make a menu plan off of it, okay? I'm looking at what I've got here for ingredients and I'm creating meals out of it here. Now, if I wanted to incorporate more, I've got the ham, but I'm planning on using that in a recipe. I've got the ham. Um, I could do omelets, right? I have um, the pepperonis. I could make a little pizza. I could also use the ham for a little pizza. I have the pecans and the walnuts, which can go into some kind of bread or something. And yeah. And the yeast. The yeast, that's a holding place. That's just a holding place for the yeast. But... I have managed to create a menu plan using a whole bunch of what we've got here. And I'll still have some stuff left over, but my goal is to get that emptied out, all those nuts out of there before the end of winter, before the end of the first quarter. So, you know, we'll come back when it's time to do the inventory for the second quarter, and I'll show you what we've managed to accomplish and what's been added to it probably. Uh, but we will, we will go through those. So this is how I inventoried my kitchen freezer and set fire to $21, um, and then created a menu plan based on what's in that freezer. So I have no reason to go to the freezers down in the breezeway or the garage. I can just work off of what's up here. And that's the way I should be doing it anyway, is to empty that out, pull the stuff from the freezers down there, put it up here the week that I want to use it so that I've got it easy and handy and don't forget about it. So I know you can't read this. I can barely read it myself, but that's my chicken scratch. I'm used to it. So until next time, everybody, go through that freezer. How much money did you set fire to? Until next time, be safe.